Man, it's been a while since I've checked my YouTube channel. <laughs> I wonder what's happened since then. Oh yeah, I, I hit a thousand subscribers. That's pretty cool. When did that happen? Oh shit. Oh my! Oh hey ladies and gents! Man, there's a lot of you now. So if you don't know, my channel has hit over a thousand subscribers, which is honestly kind of crazy. But that's not why I'm here today. I'm here to talk about your robot ideas and why they're absolutely garbage. Now, I know, I know that seems a little harsh, right? But that I'm, not, I'm not the one saying this. If you noticed recently, there's been this trend of people taking your horrible robot ideas and making them to show you how bad they are. Now, while these people may slander you, me on the other hand, I love trash. And I I will gladly take your ideas and make them for you with no judgment. Now believe me, I can hear you guys saying, you know, something like this. Wow, making your viewers bad ideas. How fucking original. Who are okay, you, Michael? Wait, 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 wait. Now, while that may be true, I'm gonna be putting my own little spin on this. Instead of just handpicking any of your ideas and putting them in my pocket so I can make them, I'm gonna be making something to do that for me. But to be more specific, I'm gonna make a robot that whenever I give one of your ideas, it will tell me whether it's a good idea, ew, or a trashy idea. I thought since we hit this crazy milestone of a thousand subscribers, it would be nice to do something fun with you guys where I make something that you guys want me to make. So, yeah. <laughs> but with all that being said, Let's get into the build. Before we get into that, I want to cover some things first. Like, how is this robot going to decide what is a good or a trash idea? Like, no, the way the normal person would use it is using bias. You know, their own opinion, whether they think it's good or not. But with the device I'm making today, I want to eliminate that bias and make all the ideas equal until chosen differently. So basically, instead of this robot going through all of your ideas, it'll just spin a wheel and whatever it decides, that's what the idea becomes. So basically, I want to have the exterior to look like some sort of trash can right to really emphasize that this is a device related to trash and for the inner mechanism i wanted to be some sort of catapult right so i can take the I, the physical idea in some sort of paper form put it on the catapult and it can use some sort of like a sensor or something to spin that wheel we talked about before to decide what the idea is now while that may be cool and everything we still have one problem how the fuck am i gonna find a trash can that small <laughs> i didn't get the whole thing hold on <laughs> Oh, uh, no green screens were heard in the making of this video. But anyway, back to what I was saying. What are we going to use for the outside of this container? And I've been kind of thinking about it, but I still haven't been able to figure out what I'm gonna... Uh... <gasps> Perfect. Man, th this should work great. <laughs> Wait, oh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be using this for the uh, external thing of the device. Exter external thing, yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> now, if this looks familiar, it's actually from my egg drop video, when the one I made for William Osmond's contest. And fun fact, I actually won in aesthetics in that contest. So this body should work great. And if you look on the inside of this, I removed all the egg drop contraptions. So it should be perfect to fit a tiny little catapult mechanism in here. Speaking of said mechanism, let me show you what I've made. It's been a few weeks and I definitely have been working on this the whole time and not procrastinating, but that's besides the point. Here is the mechanism. Now it looks like a jumble of wires and with some cardboard, that's because it is. But it doesn't really matter because this is exactly what I was ex hoping for it to look like when I was planning making the mechanism for this project. In fact, here, let me uh, show you the code that I uh, made for it. It's really good. Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, come on, man. I, I promise I'll make it quick, okay? <gasps> Thank you. But like I was saying, the whole way that this project works is using this code. Stop. Stop. Okay, okay, before we continue, we are not using this code, actually. We are going to be using the new code that I wrote, which is this. So, yeah, I'll explain why we're not using this, but basically, this one is more simple. But like I was saying, using this code, whenever we upload it into the device, it will tell this little sensor right here, basically detects distance. Whenever it detects the catapult arm come down over it, it will tell this little servo right here to move its arm down to stop the catapult from releasing. And while all that's happening, that's where we go back into the code and spin in that wheel we've been talking about this whole video to get one of two results. The first result being it nothing. It just stays in there and it doesn't move. That would be for like, oh, it's good, it's trash. But the other option, not trash, will fling the piece of paper that's in there out of the trash can at uh, scary speeds. God, it could kill a man. The reason I changed the code and everything is because originally it was gonna be this code and this code and there was just a lot of stuff because it was like talking between each other and I just don't want really explain that but yeah um that's basically it yeah 
And yeah, that is basically how this whole project is going to work. Now, all I have to do is take my little mechanism and my base for the whole project and just bah, and, and just <clears throat> God damn it. Usually this, this this usually works. I don't know why it's not working this time. Well, I guess I'll be right back. <sighs> Welcome back. As you can see, I now have the project fully done and finished, and I also added a few other things to it to help make it even more good. First off, we obviously have the electronics that we mentioned before that are secured nice and tightly in there with an added light to tell us whenever it is something good, like a trashy idea, or something bad, like a good idea. Oh, hate those. <laughs> I also added a servo to the lid, which will allow the lid to open so whenever this actually catapults, it doesn't just get stuck behind the lid and stay in there. And I added a reset button, so whenever it's actually a trashy idea and stays in there, I have a way to reset it and it'll open and everything. But that's enough talking, now it's time that we test this out. And since I don't have your guys' ideas yet, I actually scribbled down a few of my own ideas that I can test in this device. So first, we just have to change the camera angle so you actually have a good shot of this. And we just have to plug her in as so. Okay, she's now armed and ready. So for the first idea, I actually, while writing this idea, I actually realized that this can be used for other ideas that aren't just for robots. Like one idea, in fact, which is, should I do drugs? Now on my paper here, I just wrote down the common phrase, drug so all i have to do is crumble this thing up right take the idea and put it in the catapult let it randomize and apparently drugs is a good idea kids uh, stick the heroin in your arm <laughs> don't don't do that don't do that next idea is a robot that shocks you if you make robots i feel like this is a really good idea for me especially since i make so many robots and uh you know, sometimes I should just be punished for it. Why? Who knows? And it's a good idea. What the fuck? And I can hear some of you now. Why why is the good idea red and the green the bad idea green? This channel is approved trash. We want the bad ideas. We want the trash. I wear my name with pride, you know. The next idea is a robot that when you show it cereal, it destroys it. I made this one specifically so I could call it the cereal killer. So now we just put it in. And, but, are you kidding me? Okay, I don't know why, but it really just does not want to, like, pick a, pick an idea as trash. <laughs> These are all good ideas, apparently. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe they're just all good ideas. So this was really unexpected. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but it really is just choosing all these ideas as good. I literally have it favored in 50-50. So like it should, here, we'll reuse an idea. And I don't know which one this is, but it should. Oh, oh, now it works. Okay, so now it, as you can see, it actually does stay. You can't really see the color, but if you look closer, you can see that the green light has turned on and it is a trash idea. So now we can actually open it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my, my, my creations scare me. So the idea that I put back in to get reevaluated apparently was drugs. You can't, you can't see it, but it, it's drugs. <laughs> This is so dumb. But as you can see, it actually does work, even though, even if it really is biased to every idea being good for some reason. As you can see, but honestly, hey, it, it spoke. All of these ideas are just good, I guess. <laughs> Let me get all of this cleaned up real quick. So uh, yeah, uh, give me a second. Welcome to the end of the video. It may have took a little longer to make than I uh, thought. <laughs> Besides that, um, I think this project actually turned out really nice, just how I envisioned it. It's all is very simple and honestly worked like a charm, and I'm actually very happy with it. Also, while testing this, it really did not want to say anything was like a, a trash idea. Like I cut out most of my trials because some of them got a little um a little heated. <laughs> but in the end, it still works, so <laughs> that's good. And I know right now some of you are quite confused you're like Hannibal where's our ideas you said this was gonna be for us and so far we've only seen your ideas and you didn't even make them and yes that is true because this video actually won in a two-part series that is three fingers in total this video was to show off the invention that helps 
that will sort out your ideas, while the second video will be me making your idea. So instead of me challenging you like every other video to make my, and improve my invention, this video I'm challenging you to give me your best or worst trash robot ideas. Like I said, my plan is to hopefully make them if the robot deems them worthy or trashy enough in another video. I do not promise that this video will come out anytime soon if you couldn't tell by my uh, very consistent upload schedule. At this point, the Michael Reeves clones comments are very warranted. So yeah, if you have any robot ideas that you want me to make in the next uh, installation of this harp thing, whatever, put it in the comments down below and I'll do like a stream or something to uh, show off it working and judging your ideas. But yeah, that is about all I have for today's video. I really do hope all of you enjoyed. I'm sorry it took so long to make this video. I will try and make it uh, not as long next time. And as always, stay trashy.